Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 15 of All of Fabric 5. Uh, today we're continuing down the mob related stuff and uh, we're going to try to get into uh, conjuring I believe it's called. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, between episodes I did uh, well not a whole lot but a little bit. So I've reorganized uh, the pipes up here. Uh, this furnace, before we continue, let's... Uh, actually, so there was a, a massive update. And a lot of stuff has changed. Let's just turn that off for a minute. That way I don't have to listen to it. Uh, one of the things is uh, that muffler is gone. Yeah, I guess it caused lag and uh, they took it out. They've added in a bunch of mods. They've added in, well, this is Conjuring. That's what I was looking at. Spirit, which is uh, similar to, uh, what was that mod? Soul Shards? Soul Shards Reborn? Something like that. They've added in quests for, uh, for Create. And they've added in a bunch of other stuff. So uh, I apparently was a few versions behind, but... Uh, Curse Forge didn't bother telling me that. Uh, they've also taken some mods out, including uh, the all-in-one tool I've been using. So that is gone. And like I said, they took out the uh, the muffler, and they the uh, the one that hits the most is uh, inside of the Dark Enchanter. You can no longer add Unbreakable. So uh, mending's the only option for now. I mean, Unbreakable is still in the game because that's part of Spectrum. Uh, I just don't know how to get it yet. But anyways, back up here. Uh, like I said, I changed this around just a little bit. I've added in a barrel because this furnace has uh, input on the left and output on the right is what I've noticed. I'm not sure about the top or the back. Uh, pretty sure the back doesn't do anything. The bottom I know we can't extract from. So, uh, input on left, output on right. The problem is, is these uh, item pipes from Modern Industrialization, they don't handle NBT like the uh, Industrial Revolution servos do. So I could go in here and I could tell it, hey, ignore damage, ignore NBT, and it'll pull anything, any of those types. And so I put that in a barrel because I need more than one filter to cover all the different pieces of armor that come in here. Now, the uh, items that go back into storage, I've put into an item pipe. Uh, this one's full, but I can add another one to the bottom, say, or the other side, or even the top. It doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, so this is stuff that just goes straight to storage. Armor goes up into this box, which gets piped out automatically. There's no filter on this at all. It just pulls the items in, cooks them down, and then uh, no filter again, and it pulls it out here. And then this is the same. It's just uh, leather. I've added in witch's hat and uh, bows. So uh, it's... Well, now i got to deal with potions, apparently. But it's working. So we're good there. Let's go ahead and turn on the sound again. I just don't want to hear it while I am up there. Actually, let's go to like 50%. Okay, so before we actually get started with anything, as you can hear, eh, 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 it is super annoying. But they've added in one of my uh, favorite mods, which is Compact Machines. And uh, these are decent to make. So you don't need the uh, the shrinking setup anymore. It's just straight crafting, which I love. So let's go ahead. Uh, netherite, I don't have. So just a giant one. Machine walls are pretty simple. Polished deep slate, so no more iron and redstone and ender pearls to craft it. And that. And then, since I have diamonds, we're going to do the... Not the biggest, but the second to biggest. Fill those in. 
Let's craft one. And then what I'm going to do is actually, I need this guy still. So I am going to put him um, here. You sit here. Yeah, I know, you're not happy. And we'll just cover that up, because I need this lasso. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a little cut, probably. We'll see if it works first. I'm going to grab one. I'll take his chair, too, sure. Oh, wait, we're not ready yet. We need the shrinking device. Let's go ahead and make that up real quick. I times two. There's no point in making a recipe for this. There's literally only one. And unless you lose it, you don't have to make it again. Okay, let's try that again. Head back up here. Go in here. It'll load up another dimension, and uh, now we can just say, drop the seat. Uh, I don't want to sit there. Drop the villager. And uh, rinse and repeat so that the overworld is quiet. So I'll be back. Ah, nice and quiet once again. I dumped them all into uh, this compact machine along with the animals that were here. Well... I didn't steal those horses. I'd have been there since uh, the beginning of time, and the sheep are still here. But my uh, my other little mounts are in here, so it's a uh, it's quite the noisy little area. All the villagers and a few random animals, just because. Morning, on it. Okay, now let's uh let's get to what we were going to start looking at, which is conjuring. There is one very specific goal I have in mind, uh, and uh, we'll get to that later if it works the way I want it to. So, let's uh, start crafting. We're going to need a book, apparently. This should tell us uh, all about the mod. Oh, and I lost my, uh, my piglin. <laughs> I, sh I should have known that was coming. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, they're, they're not rare. It's a good thing I didn't find what I wanted to find already. Because then I would be mad. Oh, actually, before that, how are we doing on Steam? So I did not update this, but I did craft the next, well, all the intermediate stuff to craft it. So uh, basically all the motors. Boiler. I am actually afraid to make this. I am mostly afraid that the multi-block is not going to be the same. And seeing as it's not working, I just done messed up. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you craft that real quick before you uh, run out of power? It's it's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, we're still going. So I have a feeling this is going to be quite a bit bigger. Oh, it's just one extra row it looks. I should have just made a separate one to start with. Should have known better. Well, that still messes up quite a bit. And we're out of power. And you're out of power too, aren't you? Everything's out of power. Uh, let's grab... Grab one of these. This is, uh... What you might consider not an ideal solution. Uh, water comes in here. I pipe it underground. 
We'll have access to it here, I'm sure. Let's get a... Actually, before... Oh, no. We're good. I was going to say before the power runs out completely, but this doesn't need anything from storage. Oh, wait. Crawl. Yes. I remembered. And... Oh, no. Not you. There. Okay, you've got water. And you'll run for a little bit. Let's, uh... Disconnect. Disconnect. Excuse me, there's a power emergency. I don't need you to. There. Steam. Give me steam. Steam, go in, uh, and put it in here. I should have known better. Crawl. Yeah, that crawling makes it a little bit easier. Why are you black now? No steam yet. No steam at all. Got to get up to temperature. Well, that's uh, great. At least we have the backup power there. Uh, come on. I should uh, make more batteries. Well, let me uh, get this sorted out and I'll be back. All right, I am completely guessing here because the quest book doesn't really specify. But I'm guessing that we need another pipe casing. Then the advanced goes one higher. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I thought then. Fill that in, fill that in, and then... Fill in the top. And if we go down, it should be functional. There we go. That'll take care of the steam needs for a while. Oh, yeah, look at that baby fill up. Love it. All right. And uh, that's a backup just in case. There you go. Should have known it would be bigger. Okay. Back to what we were doing. We've got the book. I have not read the book. All I know is we need uh, these conjuring essences, and we need a focus, and we need some other stuff. I keep hitting E for that, but, uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, back to conjuring. Okay, we'll start with the forge. Uh, I don't know how many of these we're going to need. Actually... They're relatively slow, I believe. So, we'll just make a few. Because, I mean, they're cheap. And we'll just drop them down. And then, what do we need? This is the, uh, the hard part here. Because this takes netherite. So, let's grab... Soul, soil, iron, gold, and netherite. Let's see here. Soil. Well, I've got plenty of that, apparently. Uh, netherite. I've only got a tiny bit. I had eight from the miner, and then I had two actual scraps. And if you process this in the macerator, you get two for one. So it's not, not horrible, I guess. Iron. Gold. And we actually need a flint and steel, I believe. Make a soul fire. That's for uh, spirit stuff. So this should be... I need 12 of these. 
uh, 12. So 6. Because it doubles. And then... The corners. Eh, too many. And we should be good with that. Light it up and uh, it'll cook. 30 seconds. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm just going to sit here and wait for it, so I'll just be back. So every time you do it, you have to light it, you have to light it again. So if you want to do six of them, you have to light it six times. So I've got a few extra cooking just in case. We're going to need the essence now. And we need to actually figure out how to break that down. Strawberry jam. Okay, thank you. Man of Steel boots. I should get into Botania, it's telling me. A Paxel. At least it's not all food. Because I need this. Smash Conjuring Essence on stone. Well, I guess before that. Let's go. Uses. In the forge. We need that. And then let's just collect this stuff. So I only need 12, but I made uh, three extra, which is six. Just in case. And that'll take 30 seconds also. So we need a rod, scepter, whatever. Blaze, quartz, and diamond. Blaze. Don't have very many of those left. Quartz. And uh, diamond. See, it's nice seeing some diamonds in there for once. Please, quartz, diamond, cook. Okay, that's good. It's weird that they give you the uh, Botania stuff half damaged. Chicken nest. Farming for blockheads, really? That is new. That's not horrible either. So I guess that's going to be similar to... Uh, so I wonder if they have one for sheep, like the cow in a jar. Distractions, distractions, auto-feed animals. Oh. Okay, never mind. That's farming, not cooking. There, oh, there's the cooking one. I, I could see the milk. Interesting. I like it. Okay, conjurer. Random reward. Cladded helmet. Thank you for this. Is it any good? Crude cladding. I don't even know what that is. Looks like netherite. Okay, do we need this? Uh, Long-term solution for conjuration essence. Well, we've got the stuff. Let's uh, go ahead and grab it. It's nothing super fancy. Okay, while well, that's going... Stable, stabilized Conjuring Focus versus Conjuring Focus. What is this for? Reinforced with Soul Slices is extremely more, exponentially more powerful. Once inserted into the Conjurer, it will start mimicking a player's presence. Okay, so this allows you to go away. And it's really expensive. Okay, because I don't have any nether stars. At all. And what about you? You need nether star also. So, oh, don't. 
Eh, whatever. Too late. Go ahead. So we'll just hide that. Because we're not getting there yet. Gold. Uh, four pieces of gold. <laughs> okay. Thank you, quest reward. All right. Uh, right click on any stone like surface. Uh, how about stone brick? No. How about cobblestone? No. Okay, we'll go get actual stone then. No. Hang on, are you lying to me? Simply right click some essence on any stone like surface. Right click stone like surface. This is a this is literally a stone surface. And, uh, yeah, okay. What, what other kind of, uh, stone-like surface would there be? How about obsidian? That's a stone-like surface. Can't right-click, can't left-click. Maybe the book has better info on it. That's the conjuring essence. I need the tiny stuff. Shift click. Oh, would you just get be gone? I'm trying to read a little bit. Okay, uh, Yes, okay. Sneak right click. This says nothing about sneaking. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That works. Right? Uh, am I going crazy? Simply right click, yeah. Okay. It's just a lie. You have to sneak right click. Conjuring focus. The expensive thing. Well, it's not that expensive. Do I have to relight you? Or are you just going to go? All right, it's going. That's good. Uh, should I make another? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I think I can put most of the stuff away. Once we get that, it's going to be pedestals, which are polished bricks. Okay. I don't have any. Blackstone. Really? It's right there. What are you doing, computer? Blackstone. Thank you. I need that many. One, two, three, four. Save that for a minute. Then we need the soul funnel. Blackstone in a cutter. Blackstone, do I even have one? Where'd it go? Cut. Did I just delete it? Really? Am I going blind? I, I clicked just a little too low. 
inside of here. Okay, here, just make another one. <laughs> Blackstone. Soul funnel. Okay, essence. Not essence, whatever that thing was called. Uh, sugar cane, thank you. Torch sling, okay. And a skeletal rod. And these rewards are kind of weird. Okay, so this is what we got to do. It says, uh, towards the bottom here, having four of the, uh, I imagine it's the pedestals, inside of the Soul Sand Valley, uh, guarantee success, reportedly. So, if you don't do it there, you need to set it up. I think it's two blocks away, I want to say. Let's see. Uh, not the Conjurer. Conjuring Focus, Ritual of Extraction. Here you go. Visualize. Yep, two blocks away. So it's just going to be that. Then the four pedestals, and then the mob would go on top. And this needs soul sand or soul soil. Which one? Uh, it needs... Where is it? Okay, conjuring focus. Yeah, we've got that. Ritual of extraction. Soul sand. Sand. So we need those two to power the funnel. And then the pedestals should have the mob drop in it. But since we're going to be doing this inside of a valley. Uh, so does the book say? I just saw it. Oh no, it just says the same thing. Reportedly guarantee success. So, yeah. It's applied in the form of an item the entity is known to drop. So let's just grab that just in case. So I'm going to do a piglin. Piglin spawn, uh, do you tell me? Nothing. They uh, drop basically nothing. That's that's okay. I do, however, have a Soul Sand Valley already scouted out. Uh, the way you find these is just go grab your nature's compass and just Soul Sand Valley. Oops. Search. And uh, there you go. Find one. So I've got that. Uh, let me go find another piglin. All right, I've got the piglin. So uh, let's set this up and uh, see if it works. So we've got the funnel. Then the four pedestals two blocks away. And then I am going to build up my... Let's use something a little sturdier than netherrack. Just a simple little holding cell. And then, uh, so the mob will go here. We need to link these to the, the funnel, though. So to do that, we need the scepter. I believe it's going to be sneak right click. Yes. And then it'll have little particles. They're kind of hard to see. And now they're gone, but there they are. They look like the little enchantment symbols. Jeez, I thought I just saw something, but that was the uh, the waystone. They have some weird creepers here. Not not here, but um, in the overworld, they have the uh, the ghost or skeleton or some some sort of weird creeper. So all four of those are linked. That's there, so we're good to get started. I've got a second one in case I get what I need earlier rather than later but let's drop you there 
Yep, you're gonna be happy. So we need soul sand. We need a conjuring focus. And then we need to light it on fire. Then we need to... To what? I thought we had to light it on fire. Uh, so... To begin... Place a soul funnel, fill it with soul sand, conjuring focus. And then... Once everything has been prepared, the entity shall be lured on the funnel. This will make the... Make it possible to commence the ritual by right-clicking with the scepter. And, uh, so... We failed. I've got another one. This time I've brought cursed droplets since technically every mob in the game can drop this. Well, not every, but most can. So I'm going to fill it with that because, uh, piglins, uh, they don't really drop anything. So I'm going to hope that works. And I got rid of my soul sand. That's fine. There you go. Soul sand. Conjuring focus. Uh, piglin. And, uh, go. Well, that worked. So, there you have it. That's how you capture them. Now, with that... Uh, I've got to set up a little, uh... A little room for it, I suppose. So, let me make some vector plates. I don't know. I need, what, uh... What's 7 by 7? 49? Minus... No, just 49. Let's do that. Oh, okay. 43. Okay, or 48. That's that's cool, too. And then it doesn't matter. We'll use the uh, <laughs> netherrack. No, not netherrack. Netherrack's too quick to break. Uh, basalt. Polished. What's smooth? Smooth is smelting it. Uh, that's too much effort. Okay, and uh, let me go clear out a little room and we'll go set up a little kill box. Listen to that sound of the uh, slime bouncing in the background. Anyways, I've got a little box. This is a uh, nine by nine by seven. Well, so it's a seven by seven by five internal. Let's we'll see if this works. I've got the conjurer. I'm just gonna drop it there. And we're going to uh, fill this place up with some vector plates. Some of those and those. And then except here. Actually, can you put one on top. Yes, you can. So it works like a regular spawner. And let's just fill this in. Actually, I could just hit the wall. <laughs> Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, here. No, not on top. Give me that. There. And I'll just put the other ones in by hand. It doesn't matter. Okay, so piglins, I don't believe, have any weird spawn requirements. I believe. Let's block that off. And instead, make a little... Okay, that's enough out of you. So, that uh, large mega... Whatever the mega torch equivalent thing is. 
the large torch? I don't remember. Uh, it prevents most mobs from spawning except slimes and uh, phantoms. So it's, it's uh, pretty nice. Let's go underneath. It's one, two, three, four, middle. No. Uh, it should be. Right, one, two, th oh. Not nine, seven. And just for added uh, safety, because I don't want them spawning down there, let's grab some trapdoors, I suppose. Bombs, thank you. Thank you, little slime, for carrying bombs in you. That is weird. Okay, that'll get us access. And then that should stop them from spawning on it. So I have access to it. I should actually grab a lever also. Would probably be a good idea. Done with that, and we don't need all of that anymore. Okay, let's uh, give this a shot and see if it works. So, what I am aiming for is something called a piglin beast, I believe. Right here, piglin beast, yes. Uh, it drops netherite scrap. So if I can get this guy to spawn, and he spawns two ways. It's from Adventure Z. He'll spawn by killing piglins, or he'll spawn by mining nether or uh, nether gold ore. And, I, you know, I don't feel like mining forever, so we're going to try it this way and see if this works. All right. Yeah, okay, that's great. There, okay. Right-click with the scepter. These are for upgrades. We don't have that yet. Uh, if we flip the lever, that'll turn it off. So they should spawn. Not very many, because this is non-upgraded at all. Oh, there they are. Just in case, let's grab that. And so I am going to do this for a while and see if a beast will spawn. So uh, I'm just going to mindlessly grind here for a bit. I'll be back. So I uh, moved to the nether and I noticed uh, right there, there's one. Piglin beast. So uh, let's grab the lasso. Supposedly it has a one... No, oh, no, come on. Ah, whatever. Come on. Just died of thorns then. And there it is. Yeah, it's not going to be happy with us. Oh, I can't capture it. Um, okay. And it's kind of big. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I'm gonna have to rethink this a little bit. What are you doing? Well, he seems stuck. However, I don't have... I don't know what to do with this. Let's go... No, keep that. No, stay there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Vain Goblin Trader. Uh, no thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do about this guy here? Let's, uh... Can you... Come stand... Over here. I don't know how close it has to be. No, no, no. You're doing good. Let's just try it. Not so soil. That. That. And no. Come closer. Oh, oh, you're doing good. Oh, you might not be able to. He's, I guess he's considered a boss monster or something. He's practically on it. No, 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 no. Come back this way. I am not luring you into anything suspicious. I don't think he believes me, though. Okay, you come... Come this way. Come on. Oh, he's so clumsy. What are you doing? Alright, let's just, uh, here. Here. And maybe that. Oh, no. Okay, well, there goes that entire plan. Just, just go away then. Who the heck is shooting me now? All right, let me, uh, let me rethink this and I'll be back. All right, so, uh, I am running out of time, but I want to try one more thing. Don't mind the gold. I was trying to trade to get the... Ah, uh, the... whatever it is. You can get it from the Brutes. The... no, not that one. It's the... something Blackstone. Black... There. The Gilded Blackstone Shard. Uh, with that, you can summon a boss. And when the boss dies, it'll have... So if you look up Netherite... Go to the mobs. All right, that's the boss. And this is what spawns after the boss dies. So I'm pretty sure the boss you won't be able to capture, but you might be able to capture the small golem. I don't know. But what we're going to try doing is see if we can use spirit to capture the piglin beast because the piglin beast is fairly easy to spawn apparently because there was another one sitting there by the time I left and I only killed three. And I've already got a spawner. I just need to fix it and we just need a crystal which is going to be soul slate I don't know what that is consumes blocks let's see here soul slate let's save that that is going to be deep slate in a fire easy enough and then we need a uh, soul 
dust, I believe, which is glowstone. So let's grab some glowstone. Let's grab some deep slate. We need our goal here is spirit. We need one soul crystal, which means we need one crude, which means we need one of those, which is a soul powder. Okay. Soul sand. Let's give up on that idea for a minute and uh, try this. Okay, so that plus... Let's not do it here. Okay. Soul sand. Burn. Okay. Glowstone in there. Does absolutely nothing. Does that have to sit longer? Uh, what's my magnet right here? Turn you off for a minute. It would help if I could see. It. There it goes. Okay, can you do the rest? Oh, it's so hard to see with those particles. And there. Oh, okay. No, it just uh, takes a while. Because it has to do per piece. And then two by two to make a block. Yes, okay. I cannot see anything in there. Well, let's just make a few more. Okay, so we need... Glass. This is weird now. <laughs> it's so many different things. 18, that should be enough. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Not you, so let's save that. We've got that, so we need block of quartz. Got that. Quartz. One, two, three, four. Okay. Dust in there. Should spit out. It consumed everything. Okay, that's fine. Let's see here. Soul sand. Okay, we've got that. Now we need the crude, which is soul slate, which is the deep slate. Okay. Deep slate. And there. Then it's the gem. It'll consume everything again. Yep. Crude. Empty. What's the difference? Soul glass. Is that just going to be glass thrown in there? Yes, but with lapis. Okay. Well, there's a use for it, finally. We don't use this stuff ever. Glass. We need four of those. We need... 16 of these. And there we go, four. All right, one, two, three, yeah, whatever, four. Because I am not doing this one by one.
Okay, and then uh, burn. Okay, glass. Yeah? No? No. Soul glass. Was that not it? Oh. Tinted. Tinted glass. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Tinted. Glass. Let's try that again. It's a little more expensive. One, two, three, four. And? Oh, okay, it doesn't consume it. <laughs> so that was a waste. Okay, four of those. And then that. Got a shard. Perfect. There we go. Now, I'm not going to grind this on camera, but what I am going to do is go see if this actually works before we get our hopes up, and if not, then, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, where was it? Is it still here? Piglin Beast to the west. To the west somewhere. Down? Might be down there. Go, birdie. We're on the hunt. There it is. Uh, not the most ideal place. No, bird. Birdie. No. Stop. <laughs> There you have it. So, uh, that's a no-go. Unbound still. Well, we're just gonna call it there. I'm out of time, and, uh, I'll figure out something out next time. Maybe try the golem out. So, uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm,